Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is Evermind Terrascopes. Although today this is not a Terrascope video, I want to talk about the North Node in Taurus and so also the South Node in Scorpio. And this also applies to you if you have your North Node in the second house because the second house is ruled by Taurus so it works both ways. It's the same type of Taurus energy. <sighs> the Taurus North Node is super interesting, okay? It's super interesting because it is this coming down to Earth, this coming down to Earth. And you might be coming down to Earth kicking and screaming because before we talk about the North Node, because the North Node in Taurus is where you're going, it means your South Node is in Scorpio. <laughs> and this is just so interesting to me. I find this to be one of the most interesting, the most interesting lunar nodal pairs. So with your south node in Scorpio, what are you used to? What is normal for you? What is your comfort zone? <laughs> your comfort zone is essentially the invisible, the unseen, the spiritual, um, but also even like psychic ability and magic and death and the occult. So with the south node in Scorpio, you guys are super interesting people because you have had many, <laughs> let me tell you, like, ma like many lives of having been deeply spiritual, but essentially, but especially like spiritual in a, like an interesting kind of way. With the South Node in Scorpio, very high chance, um, or, or if you have your South Node in the eighth house, right, same thing, um, very high chance that you've had past lives where you have been, um, in some type of spiritual tradition that people would label occult, right? And people use the word occult typically to mean like, the t like like spiritual practices that are kind of taboo, that are kind of creepy, that are ca kind of off the beaten track, and that would kind of um, disturb <laughs> uh, your normal everyday type of people. Like everybody's Christian grandma would be very um, disturbed by <laughs> by the kind of stuff that you have done in the past life. And I am not by any means saying that that any of this is wrong or weird or bad. I'm just saying that um, there's something about your soul's history that mainstream people would find strange, right? That doesn't mean that it is strange or that there's anything wrong with it at all. It just means that compared to mainstream, but <laughs> let me try that again. Compared to mainstream society, there's something strange about your interests, right? Strange, strange about you. With a, with a Scorpio South node, you could find that people might even think that, like you walk into a room and people just like get a weird vibe on you and people kind of think you're weird, right? And so all of this stuff from you in past lives, right? Maybe you've really explored that in this life because you're very uncomfortable even, I mean, sorry, you're very comfortable. You're very comfortable even with death. Very comfortable. Maybe maybe you even had like experiences with death as a, as a child. Maybe you had your psychic abilities active as a child, right? Um, strange experiences, right? Maybe you talk to ghosts, maybe you're naturally a medium. Um, like there's, there's, this is like the South Node in Scorpio. You guys have like your both feet firmly planted in the unseen world. Scorpio is the unseen, right? Is the unseen. You have both feet planted there. It's a very strange. You guys are very unique. <laughs> um, and it's like things that are hard for everyone else to understand, you just kind of perceive and you get because Scorpio represents something that is hidden, that is like perfectly unseen. It's like it almost doesn't exist, but it exists to you. You are there. You are there. You are there, right? It, it can be a little bit like being a Scorpio sun. This is Scorpio south node. It can be a little bit like being a Scorpio sun. Um, so, but the thing is with the Scorpio south node is that all of this mystical, magical, spiritual, psychic, occultish kind of energy has gone overboard for you, right? It's gone overboard. It's gotten to the point where it is no longer sustainable and no longer healthy for you. So again, this, this could easily be, you guys could easily have been victims of like psychic malpractice or like spiritual abuse in past lives. Like maybe you were like used in past lives for your spiritual gifts, right? Um, Maybe you were experimented at Mantadon. Maybe you did the experimenting. Maybe you did um, things in past lives that maybe you would never do in this life because maybe you explored the occult. Maybe you explored dark paths of the occult in, in different ways. That's just one possibility, right? You gotta, this, this, just throwing out some examples because obviously there's so many of you. This is not you know, going to apply to everybody, but these are just some examples, right? And so in this life, there can be this 
feeling of not really being here. Like not really being here on earth, not fully, not really being in your body, not fully, like always being lost in the dream. Maybe some of you being overwhelmed by psychic, your, your, by your psychic abilities, by your spiritual gifts, right? Um, but you know, if you're listening to this and you're like, I'm not psychic like at all, it's, then this is like your imagination, right? Your mind, um, or your desire to focus and to explore depths and to go down rabbit holes and to investigate, right? Because Scorpio can also be like investigating true crime <laughs> or like being into like CSI type of stuff. <laughs> that kind of thing, it can, go, it can go that way too. And it can be um, very investigative, right? Um, and always searching for deeper truths, always searching for deeper meaning, always searching, searching, searching and plumbing the depths and, and going deeper. So all of this is something that at some point in your life, you're going to have to realize that you've done too much of and that it's become unhealthy and unbalanced for you. And so that's why this with your Taurus North node, got to come down to earth, got to actually get fully present in your body and get fully present with the earth and like be like, wow, I am actually in a physical body and I'm actually walking on a physical planet. <laughs> and that could be something that can actually be traumatic for you because like, South Node in Scorpio, maybe as a kid, you were always daydreaming, always looking out the window, right? Maybe even now, I mean, you could easily have been diagnosed with different psychiatric disorders like disassociative identity disorder or ADHD or um, like there's like a Alice in Wonderland syndrome, <laughs> like all, all of these different th different things because there's there can be like literally seeing physical reality for you can be a struggle, right? And so that can easily be pathologized by society, right? Um, so your entire life's journey, or you, I mean your North Node journey, right, is to come down into the physical world. And it's like, there really is like a pain about this. It's like a pain. You, maybe you really don't wanna be here, right? Maybe you, some of you maybe even experienced so much trauma, maybe even as a child, or maybe as like a younger adult, that you just, you don't want to be here. You don't want to be in your body. You want to leave, right? You want to return to the spirit world. You don't want to be here. <laughs> so it can be like painful, painful immersion in the physical. So your Taurus North Node experience or your second house North Node experience is going to ground you kicking and screaming. It's like, you're going to be confronted with reality, confronted with your body, confronted with the earth. So this is super interesting. It could play out this could easily play out in terms of physical diseases um, where your body has a, essentially it's like your consciousness has almost neglected your body because your consciousness has been like out there right to get your consciousness in your body to make your to make your to make you pay attention to your body your body could be like I'm going to get sick so you pay attention to me, right? So you could have physical challenges, health challenges like that. Um, or you could have different, like, um, struggles with finances and money, right? Um, feeling like you just, you can't ever make enough money. You don't know how to get enough money. You have problems like holding down a, holding down a job maybe, or maybe you just really hate going to work. You hate working the nine to five. It seems like death. It seems like horrible. <laughs> well, it's like, wow, how could anyone make me do this? Right. Just having to go to work every day, 40 hours a week, wasting my life. Right. I'm feeling trapped at work, that type of thing. Um, but it's like you, your life circumstances will ultimately push you to confront work, to confront your body. And this is a way of making you get like actually into your body and actually into the earth. Um, and with the Taurus North node, since Taurus is this fixed earth energy, right? to do something for a long time and to just maintain, to like, I, I call Taurus like steamroller, right? It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes like a steamroller, just, <laughs> it just goes and goes and it can do the same thing for so long. And that could be uncomfortable for you because Scorpio, even though Scorpio is still fixed energy, Scorpio is the thing that actually transforms Taurus energy, right? Scorpio is, if Taurus is life, Scorpio is death. <laughs> so Scorpio is what changes Taurus, right? So your life will also like push you past your limits, right? It could, the Taurus North Node can force you to do something for way longer than you're comfortable for. And that could be in terms of hours in the day, like having to sit at school all day, having to sit at work all day, um, having to do hard physical labor all day at your job to the point where you feel like you're being constantly pushed past your own endurance. 
Taurus North Node, absolutely. You could be, your life could push you past the point of where you want to give up. It's like you're pushed and pushed and pushed. Finally, you're at the breaking point, but then you keep pushing. That's your North Node journey, right? Being pushed past the breaking point. And this is, this could happen over and over and over again because your endurance is literally being expanded. Like your endurance needs to be expanded. You need to be you need to become so much more resilient about the physical world. You need to learn about the physical world. You need to understand why the physical world is the way it is. And you need to, um, and like the beautiful thing, the really beautiful thing about this is that you are becoming so much stronger, right? This is character building to like the, like the nth degree, right? You are building so much character because you are learning to endure. You are learning to endure. Um, and you're learning to be present and you're learning to be alive and you're learning to be physical. Because with Scorpio South Node, you could want to hide. All right, you could want to hide. You could want to stay hidden. You could want to be invisible. You could want to just disappear. But with Taurus, it's like, no, you're going to be present. You're going to be present in the physical and you're going to endure. You're going to endure something. Um, but this, and this can also go on for years and years and years and years and years. Like you could end up having to do something for decades. <laughs> um, like I could easily imagine someone's life experience. Um, somehow somebody feels like they are forced into working a job that that is like a hard physical labor job for decades and just feeling like every day just being forced and like maybe you know after doing this job for 10 years you feel like you're done you're burnt out you're done but some for some reason there's something in your life and you go i have to just dig deep i have to go back to work for one more day for one more year right so many experiences of this of expanding your endurance and the beauty like the soul lesson of this it's like look how beautifully human you are look at the beauty of this earth experience right look at the beauty of this earth experience you're actually going to learn to find beauty in the struggle to find like the sublime to realize how perfect this earth is and that you're finding your strength. You're finding, look at how much I really can do. Look how much I really can become. And the point isn't to constantly stay in this state of endurance. I don't want to make this Taurus, Taurus North Node sound like a curse because eventually you get to this point of transcendence where you realize, wow, I, <laughs> you'll know you've come a long way on your Taurus North Node journey when you look back at your younger self and go, wow, younger me? It's kind of pathetic. <laughs> like younger me could never have put up, could never have achieved what I achieved now. Younger me was weak. Younger me was just always scared, just always wanted to hide. But mature me evolved me. Look at who I am now. Look at how much I have become. Look at what I can do now. Because with Taurus, Taurus is about doing, right? Acting in the physical. Look at what I did. Look at what I accomplished. And now you'll be able to look at challenges and go, who cares? Sure, sure, that, that, that problem that just happened in my life, maybe 10 years ago, maybe this challenge would have left me crying on a ball on the floor, <laughs> right? Because South Node Scorpio, that's emotional water energy. With your, when, you're, when you're stabilizing your Taurus North Node, this is like fortitude, okay? Like emotional fortitude. You're becoming like a rock. You're becoming so strong, like emotionally strong, where now nothing can phase you, right? Nothing can phase you. Like, just think of any Taurus people you know, right? Any Taurus people you know. Most, not all of them, because there's always exceptions, but the bulk of them, the kind of ones that fit the generalization, the ones that fit the Taurus stereotype, they're like cool as a cucumber in a crisis, right? Cool as a cucumber. It's like nothing phases them. They can handle it. They got it. Um, like, <laughs> so, you know, you know, you're going to start to understand the beauty of your Taurus North Node and why you've had to go on this challenging journey when suddenly some life challenge will come up and you'll be like, whatever, I got this. I can handle this. I am strong. I am powerful. I am a survivor. I know how to endure. I know how to endure. And, it, it, and I am so resilient, right? It's like first you learn to endure. First, you learn to just force yourself to do something because like life is forcing you to do it, right? And then you learn the value of endurance and then you actually increase your own endurance. And then now you're just resilient, right? The gift of the Taurus North Node is resilience in the face of anything, in the face of literally any obstacle, any challenge, any hardship. You're just like, whatever, I got this because I am so strong and I am resilient, right? I am so resilient. 
I can handle this. I am competent. I am confident in my ability to navigate the physical world. I am confident in my ability to overcome any challenge. I am confident in my ability to just be here on this earth and to know that I got this, right? That I got this. So <laughs> Taurus North Node, one of the most interesting, I think, because it's almost like you're learning to become human, right? Almost like you're learning to become of the earth. You're coming down to earth. You're finally entering human existence. You're finally entering this earthly world in a very like super down to earth way, like getting your hands dirty, <laughs> uh, like walking in the mud, right? Um, things that could help you um, explore your Taurus North node. I mean, of course, just it, the house placement will make a huge difference for you. So make sure you know your house placement as well and explore that as well. Um, but for Taurus North node in general, it's like doing anything with your body, um, endurance sports like marathon running <laughs> or just long distance running right weightlifting gardening hiking fishing anything that's down in the earth anything that connects you with the earth um spending time with animals right working with animals communicating with animals hugging trees like get connected with the earth that that's where your strength will come from right and then you will find then you will find that oh that cool esoteric spiritual mystical psychic stuff that so interests you um so by the way, those of you who started life very like spiritually gifted, very psychic, very with your psychic channels open, you might actually find that sometime in your life you like lose that. And that's actually to put you in the physical, right? To put you in the physical. But don't worry, it's that is all going to return to you like sevenfold as you explore your Taurus North Node. You could find that you're like, wow, I had no idea how spiritual the earth was. And you find that, wow, I used to communicate with interdimensional beings, but now I communicate with animals, right? Or I used to communicate with the angels, but now I communicate with mother Gaia herself, right? Or you find that, wow, you've learned to like become a grid worker in the earth, right? It's like by connecting with the earth, you find like earth-based spirituality. Um, so someone who, it'd be, it'd be really interesting. I could easily see someone beginning life as like a, um, following like Christianity, for example, and then following their Taurus North Node ending up practicing like Wicca, right? A much more earth-based religion, right? Those might not be the best examples because Christianity isn't really a Scorpio thing. Christianity is more like a Pisces thing, but that's just, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Um, it's like your spirituality could begin much more up in your head, right? Much more up in your head and very much more like down rabbit holes, conspiracy theories even. Um, but end up being like rooted in the earth, rooted in the earth and like following the seasons, right? Getting in touch with the seasons and like the rhythm of the earth, the rhythm of the earth. So yeah, very interesting, very, very interesting placement. You guys have such a journey to go on. And just let me tell you, when it feels like life is kicking your ass, just remember that that, that ass kicking is making you stronger and that you signed up for this because you wanted to build character, you wanted to build endurance, and you wanted to remember how fucking resilient you are in the face of any challenge. And this Taurus North Node, even though it might feel like a curse to begin with, you're going to just discover that it brings you the greatest gifts because it makes you complete. It makes you complete. And it, and it actually unites your physical human self with your higher self, the physical earth with source, with the spirit realm. So whatever you believe in, right? Fit this to how it fits with you. But it's like actually uniting physical with spiritual, physical and non-physical. So you guys are really, really truly bridge builders, filling in the gap, making the connection between the unseen and the seen. So I hope this helped you explore your North Node, maybe understand some of your life trials and tribulations a little bit more. Um, be sure to check out the other video that matches your North Node because you want to watch your North Node sign and also your North Node house. And if you'd like to connect with me on a deeper level, you can check out my original YouTube channel where I post <sighs> esoteric spiritual content for Star Seeds and Lightworkers. And I also have an Etsy shop where I will be I'm always doing something different in my Etsy shop, but I do astrology readings if you want to learn more about your North Node, and I also do tarot readings for all kinds of different themes on my tarot readings. So I'd love to talk to you again later. I'll see you later. Bye.